die Auftragsplanung und Weitergabe. Order planning and transferring to the recipe control system is an important component of the production process. The order system's task is the processing of a list of batch orders in interaction with recipe control and subordinated PLCs. This list can be created by the order system on the SCADA side as well as by a superordinate system and it can be subsequently changed in sequence and content. My colleague Horst Fuchs will now demonstrate the order management. Thank you, Jürgen. Now we plan some batches together via the order management, live here at my demo. You are now faced with the task to plan corresponding batches in your production plant. The simplest case would be on demand, i.e. depending on the availability of the plant and demand, to activate individual badges within the process screen via built-in buttons. We practically start single badges here. So far so good. In addition, as you already know, you can look at your online recipe and observe the success of the process. But now we would like to schedule a sequence of batches. For example, on Monday morning with corresponding timer functionalities, scaling functionalities and so on. This means that you don't want to have to start individual batches manually, but you practically set a schedule for a production week. This is done by the batch scheduler. This is practically an application that tells me for each recipe category which badges are running at all, and the badges that were started manually are also displayed. There is also a corresponding archive where I can see which badges were successfully or aborted. And now I finished this batch, so you can look at an empty list. There are dialogues that I can use to create a batch list. I first select the type. In this case, the type of beer I want to produce. There are order parameters, i.e. a target tank, that I want to reach with the use of a filtered list. I display all tanks that are empty, which I can use for the next batch. Here you can select the start mode, either as soon as possible or by time. We select by time auto so that you understand what is happening in a moment. And I do not only plan one batch, I plan 10 batches of pills for the whole week. And he's loading this batch list into my account, along with the nominal batch size. At this point we can see, at these times, and especially when I release these badges, at these times he will always start a batch, presume that the start system of the corresponding recipe procedure is free. You see now here it could start. He also sets the batch to waiting. But the unit is still occupied and busy with another production. That means as soon as this mill is released here, he will start. The batches are now locked again. No matter what the parameters back here would suggest to me as start time, it would not work. I'm doing this to explain this correction. 
In the course of processing the badges, I realized that this cycle of one hour is probably no longer sustainable. I have to change the start time from this badge and can do this right here. For 50 pm. And now he corrects all the batches of those to come to 4.50 pm, 5.50 pm and so on. This is because of the start mode by time auto. What else can I do with this tool? I finish this batch here manually. Because I am in a simulation, I can also manipulate the set point within the mesh vessel. And as promised, you can see that the system automatically started the next batch, which was previously on waiting. There is also the function tracking view. With tracking view, I can see which batch occupies which subsystem at what time. This is also a tool that the operator likes to use to see in what condition is his brew house and which parts of the plant are acutely occupied. If we don't have any bottlenecks within the plant, a green line would form here at some point. That means that in the best case, each unit would be occupied by exactly one batch. And as soon as you notice that there are gaps in tracking view, then you can assume that something is wrong. This means you can use this as a diagnostic tool. I will close the online part completely and go to the engineering. You can define here what is the default status of my batch after creation, which parameters I can manipulate. The batch generation is also set here. That means I can map the batch numbers and order numbers assignment here, e.g. for a week. And as soon as I scale, I can also define the handling of absolute batch sizes beyond the nominal batch size here. I want to demonstrate this. We go back to the graphic recipe system. Maybe you remember these master recipe dependent parameters, which I substitute in the appropriate place. There is a value called scale. It's usually set to no. We now set it to yes for exactly one parameter and remember these 35 hectoliters. I save this. I now plan a batch beyond this nominal batch size in the order system, which in this case would be 300 hectoliters. We are planning 600 hectoliters, for example. Now the system calculates the batch based on my specifications. Let's go back to the graphical recipe system. What is the maximum number of hectoliters that I can process with this recipe procedure? I can see that here. A maximum of 400 hectoliters is possible. That means that he must now propose to me that these 600 hectoliters be turned into two batches. One of 400 hectoliters and a residual batch of 200 hectoliters. I now have two batches and if we look into the online recipe, 
what happens to the parameter of flush water, which can be scaled. This is now my bench with the remaining 200 hectoliters. In the online recipe, he halved the flush water value of 35 and made 17 hectoliters from it. With this batch management functionality, we can also implement batches beyond the nominal batch size with the help of scaling. If a batch is still locked, you can still manipulate these order parameters. As soon as the batch is running, this is no longer possible. And as I said, there is an archive where I can see all the batches that have been processed. That is also my starting point for the batch report and the replay mode. Siemens. Ingenuity for life.